Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Please versus a Dirtbag. This game taking place here on Amazonia. Gonna go ahead and set us up to eight times speed for a little bit, get things underway, and then slow it down here as we are looking at a knife elf versus human matchup. Please has spawned as the red night elf over here on the top right hand side of the map, opening up with a keeper of the grove. Archer, Ancient of War, Lightning Shield being used to get, add in some additional damage. Meanwhile, over here on the bottom left, we have Dirtbag playing pretty much a very similar style and strategy, trying to clear up additional Apprentice Wizards and things of that nature. All right, things already well straight up fast out of the gate here. Level two on that keep or on that keeper the grove is inbound. Same thing for that Archmage, as we see a Stippers of Agility being dropped in. Now, what are these players going to be doing? And when was the last time I actually cast a game on Amazonia? It feels like it's been um, quite some time. Took a little bit of a, um, of a break over the weekend um, to try and get back into the things here as we're looking at the Archmage looking to go up against the Rock Bullet. But now we'll have to put pressure against that Keeper of the Grove as you'll see a beautiful denial by Dirtbag there to make sure that Please doesn't get that experience. All right, who's going to get that final shot off here? Keeping track of the Keeper of the Grove and experience is always going to be key as you see Treants now coming back on coming their way over. All right, Keeper of the Grove trying to get that last shot off. I believe the Archmage got the experience as the Keeper of the Grove has not been able to snipe down anything here. Hello, anyone else here? I'm here. Thank you, Wild Striker, for coming on in. We see Entangles now coming across multiple units. Footman getting absolutely taken down here as the Keeper of the Grove still has a decent amount of hit points. Um, so we'll be able to continue to put in more and more of that pressure as the Keeper of the Grove is trying to inch towards 75 mana. One more bit of mana might be able to do enough there. Wow, a little bit of Ghost Walking on that Keeper of the Grove as it now takes in quite more damage than he perhaps expected himself. All right, Keeper of the Grove down to 67, down to 4 39 as it is going to get down to 12 hit points and end up staying alive. Beautiful denial right there by Dirtbag once more as the archers are looking to get away. Um, WTC Jedi Master, yep. well, 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 and some Moonwells. Yep, Moonwells will be needed. You can see, please, doubly setting up additional Moonwells back at home. That Keeper of the Grove, a little bit worse for wear. Going to go ahead, pick up our, that Mental Elf Intelligence after drinking up those Moonwells as the well, Forest Troll Trapper Creep Camp and well, what's remaining of the Stone Golem Creep Camp gets cleared up. Meanwhile, Archers, Staff of Teleportation coming in. Please, now going to be able to perhaps get in some damage. Are we going to see some Entangles? Treants now joining in on the fight. There goes one Footman as the Archers are purposely creating a bit of a wall here. Beautiful play by Please as one Archer could end up getting taken down. Keeper of the Grove, however, taking a bit of damage once more. Now trying to retreat back as Archers are trying to retreat away as well. Keeper of the Grove down to 202. No sign of any expansion as of yet. Coming back around though, you can see that Dirtbag has not set up or upgraded to tier 2 as of yet. Alright, please looking to put in a little bit more pressure here. Please wants to set up or delay that expansion as long as possible. Make sure that his opponent is unable to do all too much. But the Archmage does have that experience level advantage sitting at level 3 and also has that wand of mana stealing. Meanwhile, back over here to the top right, please now pretty much drains all of his moon wells and used a moonstone right there, I believe. Um, yeah, time of day is artificial time of day um, to extend the nightfall here a little bit longer, making night last a little while longer so that, well, these moon wells just get a little bit more full. Meanwhile, we are looking at a panda as the second hero from please. And please is looking to, well, blow over this expansion before it can get up and running. Keeper of the Grove. Now, perhaps going to try and make it to level 3 here. Are we going to see Breath of Fire? There we are. Breath of Fire across multiple units. Needs to get to that Scout Tower, though. That Scout Tower could, well, really drain much of that mana here in just a moment. Panda needs to continue to attack. Perhaps get some damage onto some of these units. There's a Repair. There's another Breath of Fire trying to finish off some of these units here. Arcane Tower nearly done. Panda needs another 6 seconds. Not going to be enough as that Arcane Tower is going to start, well, feeding back some of that damage already archmage oh no breath of fire not enough at all you saw that one attack right there keeper of the grove now seeing that level three as the panda now looks to back up all right units are now trying to retreat back once more as the well, keeper of the grove stands his ground and the panda now needs to retreat back beautiful timing right there dirtbag getting that arcane tower 
um, and starting it early enough to, well, really not allow the panda to get three breaths of fire off. That additional breath of fire would have, well, counted a close to, what, 200, 300, or 300 damage after hitting all of those multiple targets. A couple of peasants were lost, but those are quickly going to be replaced. Now, what is Please's options at this point? He has the tech advantage. He has that second hero, which does give him a little bit of an advantage, but he is actually hurting quite a bit as well. He, his army is rather small, and he does not have that many moon wells to really, well, have a home field advantage in this fight. 15 supply compared to 18, but these two, two level two water elementals could spell a problem as one of them dissolves into a puddle. Keeper of the Grove does have access to this Ancient of Wonders, which will give him potions of mana. No more wand of mana stealing on the archmage as we see another footman getting denied right there dirtbag doing a great job making sure that well making sure that um as i say that a water elemental gets taken down making sure that the panda and that are um, keeper of the grove doesn't get free experience so easily we are now teching to tier or teching to abolish magic dryad should be able to make short work out of those water elementals and what um, is considered an advantage here may turn around into and become a bit of a problem as the arch made purposely well the grove to try and disrupt some of those clarity potions beautiful denials constantly that little bit of additional micro attacking the heroes with the clarity potions attacking his own units to deny experience and well we would most likely already be looking at a level two panda or perhaps a closer to level four keeper of the grove if it were not for those denials archmage now turning back off to the north is it going to try to drop a water elemental here going to go ahead and drop a water elemental abolish magic should be able to make short work of it there's one there's two water elementals there's three abolish magics quickly taking it down with well slow poison now coming across getting damage on to that um, that archmage a little bit of bash coming across onto the brewmaster as the brewmaster holds his own absorbs a bit of damage and finishes off the remainder of this cold bold taskmaster creep camp panda is sitting at level two but the expansion of dirtbag is now up and operational and well this economic advantage could translate into bigger advantages momentarily as we see well dirtbag now going into a, a sim city type of build now we haven't seen um this many towers in quite some time um since i would say the ages of human versus undead when the masonry upgrade actually gave 20 percent um, bonus and an, an additional armor on those towers to try and fight back now well but those days are long long gone but there are going to be plenty of towers here making it difficult for please to try and push in please is considering his options does he want to a set up an expansion of his own or b try and attack his opponent where he isn't and thereby trying to well, um, well push his present push his presence where his opponent's army isn't as the well brewmaster could be in a little bit of trouble are we gonna see a staff of preservation no not needed down to 44 hit points and somehow still staying alive a boulder there would have been really really bad news a random boulder could have finished off that panda panda instead sticks around and please is playing a very dangerous game um, walking around with a 60 hit point brewmaster and those towers are so clumped that is definitely true um, and well unless we actually see glaive throwers joining in on the fight from please there isn't going to be very much aoe damage um chimeras um as well but we need to see some sort of splash damage to actually punish all of these clumped towers here we are getting level two masonry upgrades as well so those guard towers will have 600 hit points and have seven armor uh, making them well, that much more difficult to destroy workshop now getting added in once more 34 supply over 60 compared to 48 over 50 please with a much larger army as please is now trying to chase down some of these units perhaps gonna get some slow poison off onto these units here there's a blood mage coming from the other side but perhaps they know which one is the real one are we gonna see a drunken haze trying to get a drunken haze onto that um, onto a footman here would have perhaps worked out slowing down that blood mage as well but it looks as all of those units are able to get away easily all right druids of the claw 
Well, very close to mastery training, I would believe. Yep, more than halfway done right there. Panda gets up to level 3. Now with 300 mana, level 2, Breath of Fire, and Drunken Haze. Should be able to blow over many of those units very, very quickly. Meanwhile, coming back around, Blood Mage sitting at level 1. Units are trying to retreat back. Tome of Strength plus 2 being left behind. There's an Abolish Magic. Boom Master already, well, very close to level 3. And the Keeper of the Grove now very close to level 4 as the Workshop going to be under a bit of pressure there's a big roar right there one drew to the claw staying in that front line spot as we're looking at a little bit of damage on that footman as well all right drew to the claw tr gets denied or excuse me the footman gets denied once more as the workshop well is it going to end up getting taken down it is going to end up getting taken down but one mortar team was able to be trained that one mortar team going to well cause a bit of separation you better believe keeper of the group now making its way over perhaps picking up the forest troll and the tome of strength plus two having a little bit of additional hit points gets up to level four after finishing off another troll there you go and now looking to finish off the remainder of this goblin merchant camp Now, what are the strategies here? We can see that Please is setting up an expansion of his own. Meanwhile, on Amazonia, the expansions actually have quite a bit of gold, 20,000 gold. It's almost a, a, a set it and forget it type of situation. Only six minutes of mining left here in the main base. All right, fighting is going to get underway here. Keeper of the Grove does have an orb of venom. We're looking at a level four, level three going up against a level four, level one as the ch town hall taking quite a bit of damage here dryads are now trying to make their way over as we may get some repairs there's some breath of fire as the panda does have range to get a well, breath of fire across all of these units here are we going to see another breath of fire across all of these units perhaps trying to take them down there's another breath of fire there goes a couple of peasants once more as they now retreat back staff of preservation trying to save a couple of the tree and actually get in harm's way and block the escape path of that druid of the claw as the units are now retrying to retreat back again and again Treants purposely being left behind here is this going to give level two to the blood mage no it is not as the archmage looks to take this opportunity and well set up a or take down a difficult creep camp entangling of the gold mine and, well still taking place here brewmaster ready to charge on in keeper of the grove here and panda panda comes in here are we going to see perhaps a drunken haze breath of fire across the back line yes we are damage is going to add back up onto those units as the well the mortar team tries to retreat back there goes another unit there are we there's going to see some more units low hit point water elemental able to get away as the keeper of the grove and the panda finish off the remains of this creep camp 54 supply compared to 62 dirtbag has now taken the supply lead but still is behind economically and in terms of tech as he is at tier two has not shown any signs of going to tier three please is in this awkward 54 supply location here as he and is just trading inefficiently since his army is just that much smaller and lower than his opponent. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, no anti-magic. Oh, there's the anti-magic potion. There's the Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, trying to finish off more of those units. Priest now trying to retreat back a little bit of slowness as Riflemans are getting taken down. Mana Flare coming across here, Siphon Mana. Panda now, but losing quite a bit of mana. Are we going to see another Breath of Fire across? Yes, we are, but the Spellbreakers in that front line causing quite a problem bears trying to finish off the spellbreakers the spellbreakers are well not standing up to those bears very well as the spellbreakers even though they remove mana on those bears they can get teleported in an instant away there goes another spellbreaker their dual staff of preservation making sure to minimize the losses on those bears as the blood mage uses a site well siphon mana and well and also trying to take down that brewmaster potion of invulnerability in time keeper of the grove could have a problem there goes the keeper of the grove gets a level up are we going to see one more shot wow blood mage levels up to gain enough hit points to not die keeper of the grove now trying to run back around we're going to see a rejuvenation on that keeper of the grove one druid of the claw is going to have problems and please is he going to be able to save this keeper of the grove that is the question as the dryad uses abolish magic to try and remove that slow all right slow, s siphon mana into a sorceress to constantly cast slow but a staff of preservation and allowing the brewmaster to head back home here all right a little bit of bonus damage no we are not a dryad um, thinking that she did a good job but doesn't realize hey you really shouldn't be in this fight whatsoever all right dryad not getting the memo to retreat back home 52 supply compared to 64 beautiful saves around
but a little bit dangerous to say the least as the keeper of the grove and the panda now need to restock up on those items and save this expansion before it gets taken down please looking to well, repair this um, tree of life we're going to see the army come in from the other side here sentry ward being dropped down by dirtbag so it can spot everything here siphon mana uh, anti-magic potion trying to stop all of that siphon mana play here as the druids of the claw are looking to finish off some of those frontline units tree of life still needs to train up some more wisp here low on wisp there more mana flare there's a flame strike trying to save in more units low hit point bears trying to retreat back as the illusions are just making it difficult for the Druids of the Claw to actually get within melee range. It looks like Dirtbag is going to continue um, and, and to just build on this advantage here, getting now up to level 5 on that Archmage. And with a level 5 Archmage, level 3 Blood Mage should be able to easily, and with that supply advantage, should be able to cruise his way on into victory here. The Blood Mage's Siphon Mana constantly shutting down the Panda as the units are all trying to retreat back. All right, there is some more flame strikes. Nope, it looked like the animation for flame strike yeah, did actually go through. Uh, nope, that's not the actual animation for flame strike. That was, um, it looked like the flame strike was cast and then the blood mage moved. There is a one and a half second channel on that blood mage. So if you accidentally move that blood mage after the cast, well, it does become a quite a bit of a problem. Drunken Haze, or uh, Breath of Fire, straight up onto the Blood Mage. Blood Mage siphon mana, shutting down that Brewmaster, and the Blood Mage just says your mana looks delicious. Able to cause so many problems here as the Keeper of the Grove, just looking to try and get and get some sort of advantage out here onto the battlefield. 39 supply compared to 58. And Dirtbag knows that he does not need to force an engagement. He knows that his opponent is going to slowly run out of gold. Only two and a half minutes of gold mining left. So, well, please needs to make a play here if he wants to. Blood Mage does have invisibility. Could try and siphon mana. Yes, does siphon mana. And now goes after that Keeper of the Grove. Staff of Preservation Panda coming back around. Blood Mage full on mana. Going to go ahead and take more mana away from that panda once more. As the panda being forced to stick inside his home and wonder where exactly this game got away from him. Dirtbag had, has been playing this game absolutely well. He was behind, but he was able to well build up these towers, making it difficult to well, try and pressure into that location. Even one of the farms not fully done can easily um, train that back up there as we're looking at well, the Keeper of the Grove trying to retreat back here. Dryads. Oh, and Panda coming back across Clarity Potion being used by the Brewmaster again, but it's so difficult to get to that front line layer as the Spellbreakers and the Spellbreakers, Priest, Riflemen are just finding their ways to take down all of these frontline units and simply the size of the army. Mortar teams will be the first ones to get any major attacks off. Archmage well, going to get a detonation off there and we're now going to look at them fighting back and forth. In comes that frontline spot. No slow across any of those units. Flying Machines looking to perhaps finish off the Fairy Dragon that, are, that is still one in the air right there. There goes a Flame Strike across multiple bears. Dryads are trying to fight in from that back line. Keeper of the Grove finally gets to level 5, but the mortar teams um, are able to cause enough separation to keep the Dryads only on to those, onto the Archmage and not any of the Water Muntles and that weak back line unarmored units. All right, more staff of preservation, more units trying to retreat back here. We're going to look at a well, fairy dragon getting taken down once more. Now flying machines have not, well, well, another unit to try and take down. That should be it as the panda continuing to fight his way through. 76 supply compared to 45. There goes another flame strike. Both all bears, panda and, well, drew of the claw alike standing in that flame a bit too long as Dirtbag takes this game off of please. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.